Good evening and grace and peace to you all. Can we just stand on our feet? Hallelujah. I'd like to exalt our great name for he is the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings. He's the reason why we're here. Can we not just clap our hands, but if we, you don't mind lifting your hearts towards heaven and lifting your hands and opening up your mouths and being vulnerable to him. If you don't mind with me, let's exalt him. Let's glorify his name for he is the greatest of the greatest. He is the greatest champion. He is the greatest champion and he is undefeated. Yeah. We serve a mighty God. Can y'all just shout out? Father, we honor you and we glorify your name. For you are the greatest of the greatest. And we're going to sing of your great name. We never get tired of singing of your greatness. So let's declare it together, family. Here we go. Sing it out. We love to be loved. To Just call your name. Call your name. It's something. It's something. We cannot explain. We cannot explain. That, that happened. When we proclaim. much power in your name oh because there is power in the name of jesus oh power in your name there is power in your name there is power in the name of come on let's sing it to him power in your name there is power in the name of jesus power in the name of jesus so much power
Let's open up our hearts and shout it. Tell me who can stand before us when we call. One more time. Tell me. Never be defeated. 
Goes like this the devil is a liar, God is exalted, never be defeated. I shall never be defeated. The devil is a liar, and God is exalted, he never be defeated. Come on, never be defeated. The devil. Never be defeated. Can y'all add your voice? And because God, yeah, come on, gives the greatest power. We shall never, we shall never, never be defeated. Never be defeated. One more time. And because God, and because God, is the greatest power. The greatest power. We shall never, we shall see never. that. Say, we shall. Never be defeated. Come on, sing the last time. And because God is the greatest power, we shall never, never be defeated. Bless his name. Because we shall never be defeated when we call on the name of Jesus, the greatest name, the healer, deliverer. He is the greatest name that we can call on. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Not just because it is the last Sunday in 2019, but because he is. He is the deliverer. He is the great I am. He is the mighty God. There is none like him. And we are going.
right to go into 2020 rejoicing because he is the great I am. He is the God of gods. He is the Lord of lords. He is the King of kings. We shall never be defeated because of who he is. I am Reverend Sylvia Taylor and I am happy to be your presider for this evening's communion service where we commemorate the death, burial, and the resurrection and most importantly the shed blood of Jesus Christ who saved us. You may take your seats. Amen. Amen. Good evening once again to our communion service where we are excited to be in the presence of the Lord. Our scripture for today will be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, beginning at the 23rd verse. 1 Corinthians 11, beginning at the 23rd verse. And it reads as thus, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, Whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. Thus ends the reading of the word of God. Let us pray. Most holy, wise Father God, we do come into your presence, O oh God. We rejoice, O oh God, that we can, O oh God, on this day, the last Sunday, of 2019. Rejoice and acknowledge, O oh God, that you have brought us thus far. And we believe, O oh God, for the journey that you have laid before us, that we will graciously, O oh God, receive the assignment and accept it, O oh God, with our hearts open and our minds attentive to your cry. God, help us to cry out to you Help us, O oh God, to be diligent, O oh God, to be about your business. God, we do thank you and we bless you for everything that you are going to do in and for us in 2020. God, bless this day, bless this hour, bless this time. And we surrender all of our thoughts, desires, and needs unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give God a hand. Amen, 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 amen. It is now time to welcome our guests. On behalf of Pastor Jenkins, the leadership in the FBCG family, we are honored that you are worshiping with us today at First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, where our vision and our mission statement is developing dynamic disciples through discipleship, discipline, and duplication. We would like to take a moment to acknowledge your visit with us. If you are a first time guest and you are interested in learning more about our ministry, you'll find a guest connection card in the seat back pocket in front of you. Please 
complete and take the card to the receptionist console in the lobby following the service to obtain a welcome package. Now, we'd like for all guests, all guests to please stand so that the FBCG members can greet you. Any guests in the house? Amen, 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 amen. So while you are greeting our guests, First Baptist members, please greet one another in Jesus' name. Sim, 
don't move, don't move. That seemed real mundane. That felt real routine. The last line of that song said, for the Lord delights in showing mercy. And I'm not sure if you know this, but you didn't make it through 2019 because of your intellect. It wasn't because of your skill set. It wasn't because of your finances. It wasn't because the family you're in. It wasn't because of anything you did. You're here on the last Sunday of 2019 because the Lord delights in showing you mercy. Tell your neighbor, it was mercy that got me here. It was mercy that kept me. 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 Somebody give God a great shot in this room. I said, somebody give God a great shout in this room. Thank you for mercy. I'm sorry, I love, I love that song. And Brother Larry was singing that song, and it says, my, my praise is a weapon. My dance is a weapon. My shout is a weapon. And maybe just because it's the last Sunday and somehow God saw fit to make sure I made it to the last Sunday, I'm about to use my weapon for a minute. I'm about to use my weapon for a minute. Somebody shout in the room. Somebody shout in the room. My praise is a weapon. My dance is a weapon. My shout is a weapon. trying to figure out why people around you are waving their hands and why their mouths are open it's because they're thinking about what happened all year it was january he kept me i should have lost my mind in february i should have been crazy by march i should have been dead by april but yes sir Showing mercy. I'm so glad my God has shown me mercy. If that's you, lift your hands for the Lord delights in showing mercy. I'm so glad my God has shown me mercy. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Woo. I'm living this moment. It's a whole song. Because of you. Song says, I want to thank you and praise you too. Because the truth is, it was your grace and mercy that brought me through. I almost let go. I felt like I just couldn't take life anymore. My problems had me bound. Depression weighed me down, but God held me close so I wouldn't let go. God 
God's mercy kept me so I wouldn't let go. So I'm here today. So I'm here today. Because, because God kept me. Somebody said, I'm alive today. Only because, only because of His grace. Oh, He kept me. God kept me. He kept me. He so I wouldn't let go. So I wouldn't let go. Come and say one more time. So I'm here today. So I'm here.
This is FBCG News for the week of December 29th. Your source for the latest news and information at First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, where we are developing dynamic disciples. 2020 is just three days away. Bring in the new year with your FBCG family during one of our New Year's Eve services at the Worship Center, December 31st at noon, 7.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. Then join us Wednesday, January 8th through Friday, January 10th at the Worship Center for our joint New Year's Revival hosted by First Baptist Church of Glen Arden and Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church. Be inspired to serve the Lord better in the new decade from powerful preachers and anointed guest psalmist. Pastor John Gray from Relentless Church in South Carolina on Wednesday night along with Brian Courtney Wilson. On Thursday, Priscilla Shire from Going Beyond Ministries in Dallas, Texas with Jonathan McReynolds and Bishop T.G. Jakes on Friday night. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. Service starts at 7 p.m. For your convenience, the ministry center will be open to accommodate satellite viewing of the revival. Then on Saturday, January 11th, 10 a.m. at the Worship Center, hear from Bishop T.D. Jakes for a training session designed for leaders and aspiring leaders. You don't want to miss it. How long, not long. Yes, sir. Because no lie can live forever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How long, not long. How long? Yes, because you shall reap what you sow. Yes, sir. Monday, January 20th, is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We will be honoring his amazing legacy by serving our community with various projects throughout the day. There will be opportunities for all age groups to participate. To learn more about the available service projects and to register, please visit fbcglenarden.org slash MLK 2020. The Couples Ministry is back with Love Notes. Valentine's Day weekend at the Marriott Baltimore Waterfront. Come celebrate love and marriage with an evening of dinner, romance, and dancing, and live music from Grammy-nominated artist Eric Roberson. Then Saturday morning, learn practical relationship tools and biblical guidance to solidify the vision for your marriage at the Marriage Tune-Up Breakfast Seminar. To register and for more information, visit fbcglenarden.org slash love notes. That's the news for the week. You can find more details about these and other events in your Sunday bulletin or on our church website at fbcglenarden.org. Amen, amen. It is now time for the paying of our tithes and giving of our offerings. Amen, amen, amen. If you are in need of an envelope, you will find one in the seat back pocket in front of you. And remember that if you're writing a check, please make it out to FBCG. And you can also give online. So look for the online giving button on the FBCG website. We would also like to thank our FBCG members for being such wonderful, awesome givers. If, we would, if you did not give the way you did, we would not be able to serve our community the way that we are able to serve and support those that are in need nationally and internationally and locally. So we do thank you for your giving. If your hearts and minds are ready for giving, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you, O oh God, for this opportunity to pay our tithes and to give the offering, the overflow of what you've already given us. God, we thank you for being able to be good stewards and servants of the resources that you have given us. Help us to apply those things to every opportunity that we have to show our love to the community and the people in need. In Jesus' name, amen.
It is now time for the Word of God. Let us all stand and receive our pastor, Pastor John K. Jenkins, Sr. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Our God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Be seated for a moment. I'll have you stand back up in a few minutes. So grateful to... I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. thanking and praising God that he brought us to the conclusion thus far of 2019. And I'm grateful for your presence here tonight. I, I have a burden that our congregation takes the seriousness of communion more personal and that people put it on their calendars. This is the way we show Jesus said, this is how you demonstrate that you're remembering my death by your presence at the family dinner. Yeah. That's what this is. It's a family dinner. It's what it is. Communion is family dinner. When you have a family dinner, you want everybody, all of your, I want all of my six kids at their spot. I don't want them to let anything in, interfere with them being at the family dinner. Because there will come a time in history where everybody will not be able to sit at the table. So it's important that you be at the table. That's why I look at this as our congregation here. This is our real, you know, we got 10,000 people that come on Sunday morning, but Y'all are the truly saved saints, y'all. Look at, look at your neighbor. Say, you the real one. You the real deal. Look at your neighbor. Say, you the real deal. Glad to have Pastor Billy Staten from Upper Marlboro with us here tonight. He's doing a great job at uh, his church, and I'm so proud of him being here tonight. Also, another one of the pastors that I've been covering for a couple of years now has come, Pastor Marcus Campbell. <laughs> Pastor Campbell comes up to our evening services twice a month from Richmond. You won't come from DC. <laughs> and I'm, I'm grateful for him. I want him to come and greet us because he he brought some people with him tonight. Come on up here, Pastor, and uh, let's welcome him. Bless you. Good evening, First Baptist. It's a great day to be alive, amen? As Pastor said, I drive up from Richmond uh, twice a month only because he won't let me drive up three times a month. Um, but there are members within our church family, the Abundant Life Christian Center International in Hopewell, Virginia, just south of Richmond. And they're wondering, Pastor, why do you drive two and a half to three hours every second and fourth Sunday 
to come and you know what is this man preaching well we have a dynamic leader anointed from God that pours out each and every time that he opens up his mouth each and every time that he opens up his mouth each and every time that he opens up his mouth he pours out as an oracle of God and so pastor personally thank you for always being that voice of reason and logic and reminding me that I'm a jacked up joker saved by grace <laughs> But real quickly, um, there are 30 of our family members that traveled up from Hopewell with me on today. Can my Abundant Life family, can y'all stand up for me? They left at 1.30 this afternoon to come up and to watch their pastor submit to leadership because it's a poor leader if he doesn't have a leader, amen? And so I want them to come and sit at my daddy's table and eat my daddy's cooking and see how my daddy do it so we can go back and imitate him. Amen? Amen. God bless you. I love you. Happy New Year. Bless you, brother. Appreciate it. Okay, we're going to pray. Y'all know, stand up, get your neighbor's name. Oh, no, not your neighbor's name. Who your neighbor is praying for. Y'all know that's what we do. We're trying to get people saved. And everybody's supposed to have a list of who they're praying for to get saved. Did y'all get it? I'm hoping that everybody in this church has a list of people that you know need Jesus in their life. We are not going to be the church that becomes so engrossed in our own walk with God that we're not concerned about the lost people that are on their way to hell. We're going to be praying and I'm believing that God is going to save some of those people and bring them to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, pray out loud for those names. Go ahead, pray out loud. Jesus, you're worthy to be praised. How excellent is your name in all of the earth. How marvelous are your ways. You're worthy to be praised. And we exalt your name. We glorify you this night in the matchless and wonderful name of Jesus. We come before you tonight, almighty God, in the name of Jesus, not to ask for anything for ourselves, but we're putting on your altar the names of lost people who need to be saved. Save them, oh God. Open their blinded eyes, Father. Redeem them from the clutches of the enemy. Rebuke the influence of the enemy off their life. Save our mothers and our fathers. Deliver our sons and our daughters. 
bring breakthrough in the lives of our co-workers and neighbors and relatives and friends. God, work a miracle in their life is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, we pour out our hearts to you tonight. We believe you're a promise keeper. We believe you're a miracle worker. We believe you're able to do it. And so we cast our cares upon you tonight. And we believe, God, you're going to do the supernatural. And your name will get the glory. And Father, we don't have to wait to see it. We give you the praise and the thanks even ahead of time. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. You are stand and open your Bible to the book of Hebrews. Chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13. Say amen when you get there. And I want to read one verse. Verse 8, Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. You can be seated. I want to talk from the subject, the unchanging God. talk about the unchangeableness of God, you're talking about one of God's 
attributes. An attribute is a quality, a character or characteristic, a characteristic that identifies a person or thing. When you talk about God, there are a huge number of attributes that are ascribed to him. He's infinite, sovereign, holy, omniscient, faithful, omnipotent, self-existent, self-sufficient, just, eternal, good, gracious, omnipresent, incomprehensible, merciful, jealous, righteous, loving, just, truthful, wise, long-suffering. I mean, I can go on for the rest of the day. These are just a few of the attributes of God. Why are attributes, why are God's attributes important? Because his attributes reveal who he is and what we can expect from him. His attributes reveal what kind of God we serve, reveals his nature. The reason some people go haywire and ballistic and crazy when they face challenges is because they don't know who the God is that they're serving. What we're ultimately after in our discipleship programs and in the classes that we teach is to help you understand the nature of the God that you serve. You gotta know, you gotta know something about his makeup and his nature. You, you gotta understand that God has some attributes and his unchangeableness is one of his attributes. There's another term that is used in theological terms, it's called immutability. Look it up, you probably can't spell it. <laughs> but Im Im immutability means that he's unchanging. Now, what does that mean he's unchanging? First of all, for him to be unchanging conveys the thought that he's already perfect. And since he's already perfect, he has no reason to change. Y'all not listening to what I'm saying to you today. It conveys that there's nothing that can make him better. So there's no reason for him to change. Throughout scripture, repeatedly, in several passages of scripture, it conveys the fact that the God we serve is the same all the time. Psalm 102, verse 27 says, but you are the same, talking about God, but you are the same, and your years will have no end. James 1, 17 says, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. He's not turning and changing every which way, because he's always the same. Malachi 3, verse 6 says, For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. And so this verse right here declares Hebrews 13, 8, and affirms again what Psalm has said, and James has said, and Malachi has said, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Allow me to take just a couple of minutes to look at the fact that he is the same. It means he is identical to the one who, who is who he is and what he is. He is identical to who he is and what he does. Uh, there's no difference, no modification. He's exactly, he won't change his principles. He won't change his policies. He won't change his word. He won't change his ways. While people will change, God never changes. 
People will be your friends today and don't know your name tomorrow. They'll be with you when you have money and be nowhere to be found when the money runs out. They'll answer your every call, your every call when they need some money from you, but won't call you back when it's time to pay the money back. They will swear to you that they'll keep a secret between you and them, but it's only secret until you hang up the phone so they will call somebody else to say, child, wait till I tell you this. Men change their minds. Men change their policies. Men change their rules. Men break their promises, change their directions. Women change their minds, their emotions, their shapes, and their dress sizes. Did I say something that wasn't true? Did I say a lie? Is it the truth? Why y'all making all that noise like I told some lies? You don't wear the same dress size you wore when you first got married. Why you acting like you ain't here on the I don't wear the same suit size that I wore when I got married. The great news is, we serve a God that don't change. <laughs> Nothing about him changes. He never changes. He can always be depended upon. He's the same all the time. His sameness is from yesterday, today, and forever. The scripture says three things. He's the same yesterday. Somebody say yesterday. yesterday. That's a time that has passed. Hitherto. Yesterday reveals, when we look back at the things God did yesterday, it shows us so much about how awesome he is. In Genesis, in Genesis he's the Jehovah Jireh. In Exodus, he's Jehovah Nisi, the God that is our banner. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that Jehovah Jireh means he's the God that will provide. In Judges, he is Jehovah Shalom, the God who is our peace. In Ezekiel, he is Jehovah Shammah, the God who is there. <laughs> Y'all missed a great spot to shout amen. In Jeremiah, he is Jehovah Sid Canoe, the Lord our righteousness. He is Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. Jehovah Rohi, the Lord who is our shepherd. He is Elohim, the El Shaddai. He, he, is, he is all of that in the past reflects to us the nature of God. When it says he's the El Shaddai, he's the almighty that is a source of our blessing. He's able to set aside nature and able to nurture, nourish, supply, and satisfy. When it says he's the El Shaddai, he can put nature on hold so he can make sure we get done what we need to help us out. He is Jehovah, he is El Roi, the God who sees. I know you feel like you're all by yourself. But when you understand the nature of the God that we serve, he is a God who sees everything you go through. And when I understood about the nature of God, that he is a savior who sees everything I'm going through, I stopped getting worried about what I'm going through right now because I have concluded that in due season, he's going to show up, but he's going to be on time. Somebody high five your neighbor and say, he the God that'll show up. High five him on the other side. Say, he's the same God that showed up for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He'll show up for you. He showed up for 
uh, the Hebrew boys. He showed up for Moses. He showed up. He showed up for Daniel in the lion's den. And if he showed up for them, he'll show up for you and me. I wish I had somebody who could identify with me that I can look back and say, he has showed up in my past. I can trust him with my future. And so since yesterday, that's the kind of God he was, then I have confidence that he'll be the same today. Why are you stressed out? Why are you not sleeping at night? I concluded a long time ago in my Christian walk that the scripture says God never sleeps nor slumbers. And since he don't sleep, ain't no need of me staying up all night. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, I'm gonna go ahead to bed and see how God gonna work it out. He might have it all fixed by the time I get up in the morning. I can't change it. I can't fix it. I can't turn it around. But the God that I serve sure can. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what's stressing you out. I don't know what got you boohooing and, and crying and, and, and full of anxiety. All of that is a result of you not knowing the God that you serve. We used to sing a song a few years ago. Y'all might have to help me remember the words to this song, but it says, why should I be discouraged why should shadows come why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven home when Jesus is my portion my constant friend is he his eye and I know Because I'm happy. <laughs> I preach because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. I know. to but whoever you is stop flipping out stop stressing out God's looking at your circumstances from the big picture of things you zoomed in on one little issue in your life when God's looking at the big picture and God knows that whatever you're going through right now it's just that you going through. You ain't going to it. You going through it. Whatever is stressing you out is not your final destination. And as a matter of fact, here's what I want to tell you. I look back over my life and I recognize the stuff I went through prepared me for what I'm dealing with today. Whew. And since God brought me out of my yesterdays and he's the same today that he was yesterday, I know he gonna bring me out of my today. 
look at two or three people, tell them, stop stressing, bro. Sister, girlfriend, stop stressing. Stop boohooing. Stop crying. Stop not sleeping. He sees you. He got your back. He got you covered. Hallelujah. He's using what you're going through to build your character. And he's using it to teach you about his nature. I learned so much about God by the stuff I went through. And what I learned about God is that he's still God. <laughs> I feel a shout coming on me right here. I wish I had a few people here today that didn't mind standing with me and saying, I'm with you, Pastor. He is the God who will provide. He is the God who will conquer our enemies. He is the God who will give me perfect peace. He's the God who will be right there. He is the God who is my righteousness. He's the God who's my healer. He is the God who's my shepherd. He is the God who is everlasting. He is the God who is the mighty one who rules. He is the God who supplies and satisfies. He is the God who sees me. And so since he's the same yesterday and today, the scripture says he's also the same forever. Somebody say forever. Last time I checked, forever was a long time. That means he doesn't change. He's the same God that met Moses on the mountain. And the same God that shut the mouth of the lions when Daniel was in the lion's den. And the same God that kept Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. I, I hear people say that God took the heat. I'm almost finished. Don't sit down. Yeah. I'm coming to a close. I'm bringing my plane in for a landing. Y'all make me feel like I'm preaching when, when y'all stand. So, I'm, so I'm glad out of these thousands I have the 50 of y'all standing with me while I'm preaching. Thank you so much. You're, you're encouraging me. I was about to say something profound. I forgot. The great thing about our God is he don't forget. <laughs> They say God took the heat out the flame. I hear people talk about when the Hebrew boys were in the fiery furnace, God took the heat out of the flame. No, 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 no. He kept them in the heat in the flame. He didn't take the hunger away from the lions when Daniel went in the lion's den. He kept them in the midst of their hunger. Y'all, y'all missing what I'm saying. He is a God that no matter how people treat you or what they do to you or what they plan for you, he will bring you out on the other side victorious. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody help me give him a praise. to wait until it comes to pass. Since I know he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, I'm going to go ahead and give him praise for who he is because I know he will show up. Somebody say, won't he show up? Won't he show up? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the same who washed away my sins and gave me eternal life. He'll do the same thing for you. 
Somebody here need Jesus, where are you? Get on up and come down here right now and give your heart to Jesus. You want to meet this God? You want to know him? Come right now. You backslidden, you want to rededicate? Come right now. You, you're not sure of your eternal destiny? Come right now. Can you go find out what that is? Can you go find out what that noise is for me? Yeah. Whatever that noise is, find out what it is. Somebody need a church home, you say, but you need a church home? Come right now. Come, 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 come. Hallelujah. Come right now. Somebody, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. God loves you. You know what's so awesome about him? He loves you even though you keep changing. Somebody else, come on. This is the day the Lord spared your life. This is the day he spared you. He kept you all year long for such a time as this for you to get right with him. If you don't have a church home, this is a great church for you to be a part of. Come on right now. You're not sure of your salvation? Come on right now. We can help you. You don't have to join our church if you just want to get right with God. We can help you do that. You don't have to join our church, even though it's a good church to join. Amen. Help me thank the Lord for these two young ladies that have come today. Father, I thank you for these two young ladies. I pray for you to meet their needs. I pray that you would minister to them whatever they stand in the need of. Plant them in your vineyard. Fill them with your presence and your spirit, Father. Let them have a heart full of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Jaquan was 12 years old. I said, why you come? I said, why you come up here? He said, because I need Jesus in my life. So proud of you. So proud. Anybody else want to come? Yeah, y'all know, you can come down and join our church, get right with God at any time. If you come while, I, while I'm preaching, I'll stop preaching and take you in if you come while I'm preaching. If you come while the choir singing, we'll take you in. It don't matter. Come at any time. Thank, thank you, Father, for this young man, Jaquan. I pray you, sh you manifest yourself to him. Let this young 12-year-old boy grow up to be a mighty man for your kingdom, an instrument for your glory. Manifest yourself to him, Father. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.
the 99 for me he loved me enough to do what no one else would do for me and he'll leave he'll leave the 99 for you he loves you enough to do what no one else will do for you see i was the one someone told me to come and then jesus changed yes he did so if you are the one just come and let jesus change you he can change you tonight see i was the one change your mind how do I know because he left the 99 for me he loved me enough to do what no one else would do for me and he'll leave he'll leave the 99 for you he loves you what no one else would do for you. That's a great song, man. Father, I thank you for these. 
Pour out your spirit upon them in a supernatural way. Let their life never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm so glad I'm a part of a spirit-filled church. Y'all can sit down. Amen. I, I know it's communion, and I probably shouldn't do this during communion. But the Redskins lost today. <laughs> Cowboys won. But wait, wait. But they're going home for the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's over. It's over. Condolences to you. Condolences to you and Daryl and all those cowboy fans. I know I shouldn't do this during communion, but the Ravens are going to. I just had to get it off of me for just a second. All right, we got 75 new, no, I guess we have to do our covenant first, right? Um, um, yeah, let's do our covenant first. Then we, then we welcome our new family members, all right. Together, having been led as we believe by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior and on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we do now, in the presence of God, angels in this assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. We engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit, to walk together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort to promote his prosperity and spirituality, to sustain his worship, ordinances, discipline, and doctrines, and to contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry, the expenses of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. We also engage to maintain family and secret devotions, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances, to walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagements, and exemplary in our deportment, to avoid all tattling, backbiting, and excessive anger, to abstain from the sale and use of intoxicating and behavior-altering substances for recreational purposes, and to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy in feeling and courtesy in speech, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior to secure it without delay. We moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. And now unto him who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, be power and glory forever. Amen. Amen. All right, our leaders are coming now uh, up front. Uh, let me introduce to you all who they are for our new members so they'll know who they are. As soon as they get there, uh, they just... So these are our elders here. Uh, 
Elder Stanley Featherstone, Elder Wilbur Barham, Elder James Johnson, Elder Freddie Sanford, and Elder Reverend Thomas Sims, who's also the director of our special ministries department. We're missing two other elders that are out of here, Elder Jones and Elder Terry. Please keep both of those in, of them in your prayer. Helen Bryant is the head of our helps department, all of the ministries and helps under her. This is the first lady of the First Baptist Church. And she's also the director of our largest department, the Family Life Department. Our missions department is headed by Reverend Belinda Gentry. Our education, amen. education and training is led by Esther, Reverend Esther Gordon. Our deacons are led by Deacon Michael Gillian. Our deaconess are led by Deaconess Angela Featherstone. Our minister of music is Stephen Hurd is not here, but our assistant minister of music is here, Anthony Brown. We're so glad to have you. We got 75 new family members joining us tonight. Please stand, all of our new family members. Please stand, all of our new family members, all 75 of y'all. So you're gonna get the right hand of fellowship tonight. That means that you have completed our new members class and you embrace our beliefs, our, po our policies, our constitution. Uh, we want our members to be several, one of, we want all of our new members to be, number one, uh, in the word, in some regular teaching of the word beyond a Sunday morning message. That's important. So we got classes, discipleship groups, uh, Sunday school, uh, we got just a slew of training every day of the week we have at this church. If you, if you want to get trained in the Word of God, how to live your life, how to be a better Christian, we have it available for you seven days a week. So we want you to be in the Word. Number two, we want you to come and pray with us. We pray on Tuesday nights starting in February. We're on a little break right now, but starting in February or Wednesday noontime, noontime Bible study and prayer service. So we want you to come pray. Don't wait, your, don't wait until you're in a crisis Amen. to come pray. We want you to, number three, be in a ministry. We have 120, 120 ministries. You need to be committed to at least one. See, they ain't say nothing because some of them, ain't, they ain't doing that. But don't you pick up their bad practices. Our church is what it can do, the things it does, because we have people who faithfully serve in those 120 ministries. We are a tithe and offering church. We expect Christians to tithe and pay offerings. Yes, we expect you to do both of those things. That's the least that we can provide to the Lord and be obedient to him in those arenas. And we are believing that you too will commit to that as well as a part of your lifestyle. And then I recently added number five, that you come to communion sometime. We got some people who ain't been to communion since they got the right hand of fellowship. That's the problem. This is the family dinner. Don't be missing at the family dinner, sitting at home, watching TV. Amen. Once a month. We only do it 12 times a year. Amen. Out of 352 days, how many, how many days in a year? <laughs> how many? 365. <laughs> when you get old, you don't remember stuff. I can't remember stuff. Out of 365 days. 12 days we ask the family to come together. I hope that you do that with us, okay? Everybody that's on this side of me, go to that wall and come down and shake these folks' hand on the left side, and I'll be right here in this aisle. And all of you on that side, go to that wall, come down, come down this middle aisle. I'll shake your hand. And y'all give them a hug when they come back, all right? Okay. Hearts open wide as the sky. We live too high. We live too high. Hands up, hearts open wide as we cry. God, we lift your name high. Oh, hands up, hearts open. 
heaven wide as the sky Cause we lift you high We lift you high Hands up, hearts open wide as we cry God, we lift your name high oh, oh. Let all the other names fade away Oh, let all the other names fade away Till there's only you Let all the other names fade away Jesus, take your place Jesus, take your place Hands up, hands up Hearts open wide For this wonderful opportunity to come to this sacred desk once again you have been extraordinarily gracious to us and we do not take it for granted that you've spared our lives to come to this table for the last Sunday in 2019 we give you the praise for that we pray father for you to bless these elements but more importantly let our hearts be open and receptive let our hearts be in the right place in the right posture that we can appropriately and properly partake of this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Be my 
you need to know that it's coming tonight for you. Here comes my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The same God who came through the last time will be the same God who will come through this time. The same God who came through the last time yeah, will be the same God who will come through this time. He'll be saying the same God who came through the last time. Will be the same God who will come through this time. You say the same God who came through the last time. Will be the same God who will come through this time. Yeah, say the same God who came through the last time. Will be the same, same God who will come through in this time. Say the same God who came through the last time. Will be the same God who will come through this time. Look at our faith, the same God who came through the last time. Will be the same God who will come through this time. The same God who came through. Will be the same God, the same God, the same God, the same God. Will be the same God, the same God, the same God, the same God. Will be the same God, same God, same God, same God. Will be the same God, the same God, same God. You've been my hope in ages past. You'll be my hope. For days to come, and where there seems to be no way, say, Here comes my God with another one. Another blessing, another one. Another miracle, another one. Another healing, another one. Mm -hmm. Another breakthrough, another one. Oh yeah. Another blessing, another one. Another miracle, another one. Another healing, another one. Another breakthrough, another one. Another blessing, another one. Another healing, another one. Another breakthrough, another one. Another healing, another one. Another blessing, another one. Another healing, another one. Another breakthrough, another one. Yeah, another one. He's a God of another one. Don't give up tonight. He's the God of another one. Don't throw in the towel. He's the God of another one. Yeah. Don't be discouraged, another one. Mm -hmm. If he healed you before, if he came through before, get ready. Here comes another one. Here comes another one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If he came through before. Oh, if he showed up before. Get ready, because here comes another one. Say another one. Another one. Say another one. 
another one. Yeah, another one. Another one. If he healed you before. Woo. If he opened the door. Get ready. Cause here comes another one. Another one. Say another one. Another one. Hey, another one. Another one. Another one. The windows, the windows of heaven are open for me. I'm walking, walking by faith instead of by what I see. Jehovah Jireh will provide for me. I see this time, so it's with confidence I speak that a way will be made today. A way will be made. Where there was no way yesterday, a way will be made. Come on, say a way will be made today, a way will be made. Where there was no way yesterday, a way will. Everybody say a way will. A way will be made today. A way will be made where there was no way yesterday. A way will be made. One more time, say a way will be made. I believe it tonight. A way will be made where there was no way yesterday. A way will be made. The same God who came through the last time will be the same God who will come through this time. Yeah, the same God who came through the last time will be the same God who will come through this time. Can you help me say the same God who came through the last time, the last time will be the same God, the same God who, will come through who will come through this time. This time. The same God, the same God who, came who came through the last time, the last time. Will be the same God who will come through this time. You move the mountains. You move the mountains. <laughs> yes, you do, Lord. You move the mountains. Do I have any witnesses in the room? You move the mountains. Yes, He does. You move the mountains. So you cause with your power perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. Yeah, and we're standing here only because you made. Yeah, the same God who came through the last time so will be the same God who will come through. This time, everybody say, the same God yeah. came through the last time. Yeah, will be the same God the same who will come through, come through this time. This time. Say, you move, you move the mountains. You cause the walls to fall with your, your power for miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made a way. The same God who came through the last time, I'm going to keep saying it, will be the same God who will come through this time. Yeah, the same God who came through the last time, will be the same God who will come through this time. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, he is. And in remembrance of the price he paid for our redemption, that he who knew no sin became sin for us. In remembrance of the price he paid, let us eat together. Amen. 
And because his blood washes away all of our sins, in remembrance of his shed blood on Calvary, let us drink together. Hallelujah. I can claim this may not make sense. I know what it looks like, but I choose to go against that and I'm speaking something different. Say it. Speaking something different. I'm claiming, claiming something different. Expecting. I and I'm speaking, speaking something. I'm speaking, speaking something. I'm claiming, claiming something. Expecting, expecting something. For somebody say this week, this week will be, will be a week for miracles. Tell them this week, this week will be, will be a week for miracles. Say this week, this week will be, will be a week for. I'ma praise him now. I'ma praise him now because I believe it. Yes, I do say I don't. I don't have to wait till I see it. Yes, sir. I'ma praise him now. I'ma praise him now because I believe it. Come on, everybody say to your, your miracle is on the way. Come on, say your miracle is on the Tell way. Tell somebody your miracle is on the way. Tell somebody your miracle is on the way. Your miracle, your miracle is on your the miracle way. Your miracle is on the way. Yes, it is, sir. Your miracle is on the way. Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is, sir. presence tonight on behalf of my wife and I we love you thank you for your support for our family I'm grateful for that I don't take that for granted thank you we'll have our New Year's Eve service at 12 7 30 and 10 30 I do encourage you to try to make it to one of the earlier services if possible amen the Bible says they sang a hymn and they went out into the Mount of Olives. Go home. Miracle, 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 miracle